Hi, and welcome to the homestead. I have to start out today's video by bragging for a moment on Ada May. Ada May. Hi, Pip Pip. As you may have seen on Facebook earlier this week, Ada proved herself a world-class livestock guardian by fiercely protecting one of the chickens from herself. <laughs> I was doing dishes and I looked up and saw that there was a chicken in the yard with Ada and I thought, oh golly, because we may or may not have already lost a chicken and a half to Ada May. So I was concerned, but we also wanted to give her the opportunity to prove herself. We've been working a lot with Ada using positive reinforcement for ignoring chickens and for politely socializing with the goats. So we were curious to see how she would react. We went by the back door so we could watch without being seen to see how she'd react, hi Ada, to this chicken being in her yard. And we were pleasantly surprised. She looked at the chicken, and I mean she looked at that chicken, and then she turned around and walked the other way. And we were just so pleased and so proud, and we feel like it's a huge step in the right direction. Right now, we really do not trust Ada at all alone with any of the animals which is difficult because is she a livestock guardian yes is she a puppy also yes and right now she is definitely more puppy than livestock guardian um, but we felt like this is a huge step in the right direction and we feel like we're on our way to being able to trust her and that's really exciting so as we are starting out these videos, I thought it would be fun to answer some questions along the way. And I wanted to start with one of the questions that I by far get asked the most. And that question is, why? Why homesteading? Um, and it's, it's an understandable question to me in this era of abundance and convenience and having so much of what we need at our fingertips, what's the purpose of doing it the hard way? And really the easy overarching answer is self-sufficiency. I mean, it's a really good feeling to sit down at the end of the day and know exactly where the food on your table and the soap in your shower and the beer in your hand came from and what it took to get that. And yes, Anthony makes beer. Yes, it's delicious. And yes, there's probably a beer making video in your near future. So the long and short of it, like I said, is self-sufficiency. It's about knowing that we can, at least on a small level, provide for ourselves and hopefully eventually help others provide for themselves. And with self-sufficiency comes sustainability. It's no secret that the measures that are being taken to feed America and other modernized countries can't continue at the pace that it has been. It's not sustainable, at least not without irreparable damages. So we figure that if we can take even a small load off of the factory farm and mass production industries that dominate food production these days, then we're doing something right. And along with that comes quality too. We find that we can do things better, cheaper, and cleaner ecologically ourselves. So if you can do something better and at a fraction of the cost, why wouldn't you want to do it yourself? And I'm not going to lie to you, it can be hard to go to the store, to the meat department, and not think about the conditions that the animals are kept in and what needs to be done to the final product to make it safe for human consumption. It's, it's a little bit scary and it's a lot of bit sad and if we can um, do right by our animals while getting a better product, then we're all for it. And Beyond that, there's the heritage aspect too. I come from a long line of dairymen and farmers, and there's something to be said for remaining connected to those parts of us that have made us who we are. 
of carrying on those quickly disappearing skills and values and having them to pass on to future generations. There's also a lot of really positive byproducts that come from keeping animals and working the land and providing for yourself. Among those, I feel like the most significant one is responsibility. You cannot get away from it. Beyond the normal home ownership things, there's the property that needs attention. There's gophers taking out our trees one by one. There's fences that need mending. And then there's the animals. <laughs> and they depend on us to give them what they need to live their very best animal lives. And that is not something that we take lightly here at the Battle Family Homestead. And with the responsibility to come stewardship. And that's about making the most that we can out of our property, our finances, our time, and all of the resources that we have been so truly blessed with, really just blessed beyond measure. <laughs> and I would say, lastly, humility, because you can only think so much of yourself before it's time to go muck out somebody's pen. <laughs> One thing that people say about homesteading that actually bothers me is that it takes somebody special to do it. And the fact of the matter is, it absolutely does not take anyone special to do, well, really anything. Because who of us is really that much more special than anybody else on God's green earth? But Anthony and I are 100% not special. We are two absolutely average, run-of-the-mill, working-class people who are too young to really know what we're doing. We're too old to be faking it. We don't make a ton of money, but we do okay. And I mean, we're not stupid, but we're also not that smart. We are just two people who really like good food. We like learning to do new things and we like doing things a little bit more how they used to be done. That's really it. And that's all that it really takes. So, if you are one of the many people out there wanting to take steps towards becoming more self-sufficient and doing things more sustainably, this is me telling you that you can do it. It doesn't matter how big or little those steps are. It doesn't have to be going out and buying a few acres and starting a goat herd. Do I think everybody needs goats in their lives? Absolutely I do. Specifically my goats because they're perfect. <laughs> But it can look like so many things. It can be as simple as finding a small local source for meat and milk and eggs. It can be finding a corner of whatever yard you have and growing a few of your own vegetables. It can simply be cooking dinner at home a few more nights a week with fresh whole ingredients. Really, whatever steps that you want to take, don't let fear or uncertainty or not being a hundred percent sure how to do it keep you from doing it there's a whole community of people here fighting for you people just like you wanting to do things a little bit better and a little bit differently and heck I don't know you from Adam but leave a comment here on this video find me on Facebook and I will be your cheerleader because I believe in you I'm gonna leave it at that um, I've gone on long enough and I've got to get these goat girls out to play but I will say one last thing. If you liked this video, if you learned something from it, if you spent the whole time making fun of me and laughing at my expense, please like, share, comment, better yet, subscribe for future opportunities to make fun of me. See how that works. And we look forward to seeing you here on the homestead.